We're back to give you the legal edge. With schools getting back into session once again, we're going to start to see a lot more school buses out and about. Well, I spoke with local attorney Brian Waldman today for a reminder of the laws that apply to drivers when they encounter school buses and important changes to these laws that take effect soon. So what is the law for motorists when it comes to school buses and stops? It's a really important law, Siobhan. It's also one of the most misunderstood laws I find in the Michigan Vehicle Code or the Motor Vehicle Code. And what it says is that once a school bus stops and puts on those flashing red lights, if you're driving in either direction, you have to come to a complete stop at least 20 feet away from the bus, and you have to remain stopped until the bus starts to move again or those flashing red lights are shut off. And the only exception to that is if you're traveling the opposite way of the school bus and you're on a road that's divided by something that stops traffic from crossing like okay. a boulevard or something with a, guard or a guardrail in the middle, then you don't need to stop if you're going in the other direction. But otherwise, everyone has to stop in both directions. What happens if someone violates the law? What's the punishment? It's a civil infraction, just like you know, most moving violations in, in an automobile. It involves a fine. It involves three points being put on your driver's record with the Secretary of State. And then the judge has discretion to add to the, the penalty uh, up to 100 hours of community service, specifically at a school. Uh, and Brian, the law is actually gonna change to make it easier to catch the people that violate the law, and these changes are gonna be taking effect soon, correct? Correct, the changes take place on October 1st of this year, and the changes have to do with school buses being able to mount something called stop arm camera systems. And what those are essentially multiple cameras, two or more cameras being put on the school bus that will be able to take pictures of cars that aren't following this law. And those pictures can then be given to the police or the police can request those pictures, get the driver's license number. And under the existing law, there's a, what they call a rebuttable presumption that the owner of the car, so they, when they track the license plate to the owner of the car, is also the driver of the car. And so it be then becomes your burden of proving that it wasn't you driving it if you're the owner of the car to avoid getting the civil infraction. They're also removing that provision that allows for the judge to add community service to the penalty. So it looks like there's a real effort here to start ticketing more people, but maybe make the penalties not as severe. 